Britain was on course for its hottest day on record on Monday. The UK Met Office has issued its first ever red alert for extreme heat, which will last during Monday and Tuesday, cautioning there was a risk to life. I've been a meteorologist for about 30 years and I've never seen the charts that I've seen today. And the speed at which we are seeing these exceptionally high temperatures is, 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 in, is, is broadly in line with what we are we saying. But to be honest, as a meteorologist, to see the brutality of the heat that we're expecting tomorrow is quite astounding. Um, and it does worry me a lot, and, and my colleagues here in the Met Office, that this sort of unprecedented heat could be a regular occurrence by the end of the century. Wildfires have raided through France over the last few weeks, as well as in other European countries like Portugal and Spain, as temperatures have soared. French authorities evacuated thousands of residents in southeastern France as firefighters continued to battle raging blaze. It is a fire that has grown massively over the past few days. We managed to contain it. We're making it go where we want it to go, while fulfilling our objectives to protect people since there were no civilians or firefighters wounded and to protect houses. Elsewhere in Spain, dozens of fires have scorched thousands of acres of land, forcing authorities to also evacuate people from their homes. Firefighters battled in the early hours of Monday to contain another disaster in Catalonia that had spread dangerously close to residential areas. The state meteorological agency issued a weather forecast predicting significantly high temperatures in several parts of Spain. Much of Europe is baking in a heat wave that has pushed temperatures into over 100 Fahrenheit in some regions, with wildfires raging across cinder-dry countryside in Portugal, Spain and France.